So it's time for us to put our agony on and uncle hats on as we get to grips with some of the problems that have divided people everywhere. We are calling it Dancing and Ice! Oh, 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 terrible. Thank you. Oh, I love it, Andrea. I don't listen to them. Thank you. It's a wonderful Thank you. play on words. <laughs> now, listen, um, here we are. We've got uh, problem number one. Writing on Mum's Net recently, one user wrote... Um, <gasps> I got a text this morning from a friend saying she was unwell and could we change our coffee date for tomorrow? I decided to come into town myself anyway and sat down. Then I spy said unwell friend. <gasps> sat down having a coffee with a couple of friends. Oh. She hasn't seen me yet. I'm actually rooted to my seat and wondering how to get out without putting a bag on my head. No, wait, I shouldn't be embarrassed. She should. So, should she confront her cheating friend? OK, I would. What would you do? Well, I'd just, well, I, I'd just go up and say, oh, just say, oh, you found something better to do today, did you? Feeling Pets better? Pets me and found a better friend. <laughs> mm. oh. um, yeah, I'd, I'd prefer just honesty, really. Even if, even if my mate said to me, oh, look, I forgot I'm going to go and meet Bob down the road instead for a beer. Uh, do you mind if we leave it till next week? Yeah, no problem, but don't lie to your friends. You are so good at confronting me today. Yeah. I would have yeah. lied. I would have genuinely hoped I was wearing what I'm wearing today and tried to blend in with the plants on my way out. <laughs> dump, <laughs> dump, 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 really slide dump. out. The, but what would you think inside your head? You'd think it's out of order, wouldn't I you? I would think it was really mean, but then I would think, well, you know what? She just doesn't want to go for out with me, and that's fine. Her choice. I'm just gonna. But yeah. Would, isn't it better to let her know that you know, so she also feels bad? Because you're got, feeling bad anyway. I've got to go Might over as well there. let her feel bad as well. No, <laughs> give me give me the camo paint. I'm out. The mm. thing is, I, I first of all, looking at that, I just think, my God, what a stupid friend I have yeah. and how much of a friend that is. To actually say that you're ill and then go to the same coffee shop that you were going to go <laughs> with. That's yeah. true. I mean, how That's stupid. Yeah, yeah. I just say, get rid of your stupid friend yeah. and, um, and, and find better ones because, I mean, <laughs> really, okay. beyond the pale. OK, we hope that helped. <laughs> OK, uh, problem number two. It's her only friend, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> uh, writing to the New York... It was her mum. Uh, writing to the New York Times recently, one Roma woman wrote, My husband's parents live 45 minutes away. Here's the deal. My in-laws are too nice. My husband and I run a business together, and for the last five years, my in-laws have worked for us unpaid one to two days a week. They shower us with gifts at every opportunity. They give us treats on Valentine's Day and Halloween. We celebrate all holidays and birthdays with them. They're currently looking for a house to buy on our block. They cook and bring us five meals a week. All of these things are so nice, but I feel suffocated and resentful. I need space. I don't know how to get out of it without hurting their feelings. I'm struggling to see the problem here. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds wonderful. Does, doesn't it? Well, do you think they've sort of overstepped the boundaries of, of parenting? Because they're so involved. Well, I mean, uh, I think... Clearly, there are issues of boundaries, and there's boundaries that clearly have not been set. Right. And I think it's, it is down to the couple to sort of set those boundaries. And if you're, you know, if you're not expressing to them and as lovely and well-intentioned as they clearly are... Yeah. ..slightly weird, though, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, bit overbearing. Slightly weird. So I guess it's probably the mother with the son. Sounds is it? Like Do you it. think so? Sounds but maybe like the it. son is quite happy with it, but of his wife is. isn't. Of course he oh, is. Oh, it is, yeah, my husband's parents. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. my yeah. husband's so parents. That dynamic is very difficult yes. because, I, you know, I believe that mothers do fall in love with their sons. My mother. You know, it's, it's, it's a me. real. It's oh, a real I see why. Yeah. It's yeah. a real point. <laughs> I mean, I, I like him. I like my son. No, I'm not even joking. I love him. I'm not in love with my son. No. But yeah, what, what do you I'm going to be that crazy. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm very, very close to my parents. Yeah. I, I adore my parents, but. They're not going to move in the house next door to me. That is weird. That's, okay. that's just really random. Oh. Just got time for a very, very quick last question. Uh, my friend keeps trying to steal my man. She simply will not leave the bloke alone. Time and time again, I've asked her not to text him, not to flirt, not to keep turning up at his workplace. She knows how I feel. It's and yet you, continues Jane. to treat We've me done. like I'm nothing. I'm not impressed that they both share the same wacky sense of humour and can sit for hours quoting The Simpsons and Family Guy. Maybe I don't always get their hilarious in-jokes, but I know a scheming minx when I see one. <gasps> 
Oh. James Jordan. What? He is guilty of this with my partner. Oh. He's always trying to steal Joe from me, I can tell. I love they, Joe. They I have do like love little Joe. mothers' meetings together, they spend loads of time together when they're like if we could all be somewhere and him and Joe are off in the corner laughing and joking, having a whale of a time, and I do get a bit jealous of that relationship. Yeah, but it's a guy thing. If it, if it was one of your friends that was doing it. Well, James with, is with... supposed to be my friend. I yeah, think but... she means one of your girlfriends. Girlfriends. Oh. Like actually I'm not trying to do anything else apart from have fun with Joe, but maybe <laughs> yeah. your girlfriend would want to do other things with Joe. She change your shirt. Not. Ah, <laughs> yeah, change your shirt. Yeah, yeah change your shirt. Take him shopping. <laughs> then you should thank her. You know, she's a, a good girlfriend. Yeah. But that, that's just all shades of wrong. And, yeah. and you know, I love the way that she started off saying that it was a friend of mine, and then I know a, 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 what a dirty scheming little scheming little, little minx. When, yeah. I, when I see one, well, it, you've made friends with her. Yeah, lose Unfriend the minx. Her. Lose the minx. Lose the minx. Well, we hope that helped you. If any of those problems were yours,